Hey guys, welcome to Brian's Man Cave. So today I'm going to be playing some Kickman on Atari 2600. Now this is a prototype game, uh, kind of like the one I did with the Pink Panther game that I just played uh, a couple of videos ago. Um, it was actually, you know, also on Atari Age that I heard about this, and uh, I saw some postings on Facebook. So it's kind of excited to, to give it a shot. It's a game that I used to play on the Commodore 64 when I was a kid. So this this should be interesting. Um, where's my controller? Here it is. So, let's give this game a whirl. So basically, you're, you're kicking balloons and you're catching balloons, so... Um, and I did play the Commodore version on one of my other videos. I think it was the one about video games, circuses, and the video game. I, I'll find the link and I'll put it down there. But, uh, let's, let's get to playing the game. So we got the game booted up, so there's not, uh, much of a start screen here. It really just has the, the numbers going on there. I notice there's some flickering. I don't know if that's because of my emulator or if there's like a setting I'm missing, but... And there's a level difficulty switches you can play with. Uh, one affects is uh, the speed, I think, or is, is range in the kick and the speed of the balloons. So let's just start the game. That's that's him down there. Um, yeah, I mean, it's it's pretty much playing the same as uh, what I remember. The, the graphics are obviously a lot more simple. Uh, on the Commodore 64, the version that I've played before, uh, there's actually like a scenery in the background, like a, you know, circus kind of like it's a street or something. Um, so this is obviously, you know, the black background. Well, I'm fine with that. And uh, it looks like he's wearing more of a, a wizard hat than a spiky hat that I, I'm, I'm used to in the Commodore version. So this is the one where he's got to like catch the balloons and then they they pop after you get to four, I think. Oh, yeah. oh, that's when I'm supposed to kick it. So you can kick. If you're not going to make it, whoa, not good. Now I noticed in the forums that uh, people were questioning if this would be like a paddle controller game or a joystick game, because I believe on the, you know, I, I think on other systems it, it uses the paddles. And it would make sense to use the paddles for this. There we go. Oh, look at that. We got a Pac-Man up there. I remember that one also in the uh, in the Commodore version. I mean, so far it's pretty much, you know, it plays pretty well. It's a little bit flickery. Again, I don't know if that's just my emulation or, you know, if it would do this on real hardware or not. See what happens when we get to that Pac-Man up there. Usually he eats them. Oh, that was cool. I like how it had the uh, the Pac-Man sound. Not even the uh, Pac-Man game on the Atari had that. Oh, and we got the Pac-Man ghosts. <laughs> of course, he just eats the balloons. Oh no! Ah, I killed the Pac-Man. Here comes a ghost. I don't think the ghost does anything anyway. So I think he's. It's pretty much just like a balloon. Now, th there's no real musical soundtrack. Um, that was one thing I noticed, like, you know, right off the bat. And the Commodore 64 did have a little bit of a circus music going on. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Ah! Oh. <laughs> I think I died. Let's try that again. find his kick range is a little bit... oops. Yeah. I don't know. I, 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 maybe it's... Maybe it goes a little bit further. Maybe I have to change the settings. That could be it too. There's the difficulty switches. I tried playing around with them when I first booted this up, just to see if I could figure out a difference, but it really didn't, uh, it didn't really do much. But, I mean, this is pretty solid. I think this could have actually been sold, and people probably would have bought this. <laughs> I mean, it looks great. The uh, the guy on the little cycle. I think he's supposed to be on a unicycle. I mean, he could be a barrel, it could be a ball, but I think he's supposed to be on a unicycle. It moves pretty fluid. So. <laughs> it's 
just watching them pop. I mean, it, it, there is a strategy to this game, I guess, but... I mean, it's just really paying attention to the next balloon that's going to fall and whether you're going to kick it or you're going to, you know, catch it with your head. Now, I believe the Pac-Man should eat the balloons even though they're on his head. Yeah, just like that. Let's get the, uh... Ghosts. I don't know if anything happens if the Pac-Man eats a ghost. Maybe you get more points? Let's see if I can catch a ghost and then get the Pac-Man. Oh, there's Pac-Man. Okay, we just need that ghost to fall. Hey, there we go. Let's see what happens. Ah, nothing. Oh, the Pac-Man never leaves, either. <laughs> Oh, oh, geez. I don't know what that music's supposed to be. It's like, uh... Oh! Ah! It's not not really a... It's more of a tone than, than music. But... Hey, it is cool that they did the Pac-Man sound, though. That's, like, from, from the arcade Pac-Man. It is very flickery, though. Oh, jeez. It's really fast. Oh, Pac-Man. Oh, jeez. No, no. Oh. Uh, I think people would probably buy this even today um, if, if they can get this in cartridge format. I think it would be... A uh, pretty cool addition. I'm not sure why this never actually made it to the market. I'm sure there's a history behind it somewhere. Oh, Yeah, well that's Kickman. That, that's actually pretty fun, actually. Um, I, c I can probably play this a little bit more. Um, does remind me a little bit of the Commodore 64 version. Again, I'll, I'll leave a link down below where you can find where I did a video on the that one. Uh, it was it was part of a, a series of other videos in that video, so it's just one of the games that I played, but, I mean, yeah, I had some fun playing it, too. Anyways, yeah, that's uh, Kickman, the Atari prototype. Uh, it showed up on the Atari Age website, so if, if you want to go over there and check it out, that'd be cool. And uh, let me know what you think. Drop some comments down below. Hope you liked the video. Hope you subscribe. Talk to you later.